start off with some team news. I think you said Eunice would be back in training on Monday. Has he trained and is he ready for tomorrow? He trained, but unfortunately he felt again something in the session, so it's out. Do you know what he felt specifically? Or you uh, it's a muscle problem. Yeah. Any other injury concerns out of these? Wilf. Yeah, Wilf will be out until uh, the international break. Uh, then, the uh, muscle, small things, but uh, uh, when the problem is muscle problem, even if it's small, at, at the least it's always one week, two weeks. So yeah, it's going to be out until the international break. Also because we don't take, we, we don't want to take any risk. And yeah, then Tom is back with us. Uh, Casey, you already see him last last game. He's, he's back, so good news. And in the same time, uh, some bad news, but it's normal when you play the amount of the game that we play. Is Tom fit enough to be involved tomorrow? It's fit, but because he has been a long time out, he needs to be slow. We see. We have session today. We see if we involve him, we, he can be involved for tomorrow game. Otherwise, for sure, the next one, we see. Looking ahead to tomorrow night against the Leeds and it's first against third. I know it's early in the season, but does this feel like a bigger game than maybe some of the previous ones? If you remember, I said before before QPR game, and some of you asked me because Harry Wings and Keenan they were with the four yellow card. You asked me uh, if we were thinking to uh, leave them out, and I said QPR they are three points, and Leeds they are three points. So for us tomorrow, it's just one more game that uh, we're gonna try to do our best to use our weapon to prepare the game in the in the way we want to play. But uh, nothing more than that. Tactically, Leeds have scored the most goals in the league from fast breaks and counters. With your style, I wonder how do you limit that threat of them countering on you when you have the ball? Anyway, we know that uh, they are good in transition. I don't think they are only good in transition. In general, they are a very good team. Uh, but with, uh, you know, Ruter, Piroe, Somerville, uh, James at front, Nyonto, they are very quick, very good in transition. We need to be careful and probably more than ever, it's a game that we need to give many, many passes before we attack. Because as we always said, if we attack quick, they're going to attack us quick. And it's not the game that uh, we are looking for. I know it is game by game, but if you do win tomorrow, you could equal you know, Bristol City's record from 1905, winning 14 of your first 15 games in the second set. I know it's early, but can you appreciate what a great start to the season it's been so far? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We are happy and we appreciate. But uh, as we already said, until two days ago, I always said we are in October. Now we are in November. So hopefully we can go October, November. They're always repeating the same until January, February with the same amount of uh, points of distance. But uh, uh, now, serious, we know that uh, there are many, many games. I wanted to ask you just about a few players, if you don't mind. James Justin had a pretty horrendous injury last year and wasn't able to take part you know, in the run and He's now come in since Callum's injury. Just how have you found him this season? How has he adapted to your style and what has he offered in that left back? No, he's, he's adapting very well. Uh, we know that when he's playing in the left side, it's not uh, ideal for him because me, most of the time he has to build with uh, his left, left foot. And, but he can do it. He can do it. He is making an effort to do it. Uh, I said many times, even the last conference, in the last press conference, I said the same. I came here in uh, in June for the first time, and while the rest of the players they were in holiday, JJ was uh, running around the pitch, prepare himself. So this is show how serious, how professional is. And just finally from you, if you don't mind, um, it was said yesterday that Henry Chowdhury was warned by the FA after a social media post. Have you spoke to him much? Has he trained as normal this week as well? Yeah, for sure. He trained normally. I think uh, the situation is quite clear. The club made a statement, the player clarified, so it's it's all clear. Thank you very much. No problem. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, Enzo. Hope you're well. Um, I just want to touch upon a, a couple of the players that you, you mentioned are coming back. Obviously, Casey came off the bench 
uh, last weekend. How how has he looked this week? And uh, are you possibly thinking about putting him in the start tomorrow? No, he looks good. He looks good. Uh, he played some minutes last week, uh, and you can see that uh, he's already already good. He's ready, and if he's going to play tomorrow or not, we see. Could be a, could be an, an option. And I know it's early for, for Tom Cannon, but just the fact that he's back in training, you've already got such incredible options up front with uh, Jamie Vardy, Ian Acho, Pat Sindaka. But what will he add that maybe those three don't? Well, for sure, energy, because it's young. And from young players, we always demand energy, energy. Uh, but as I said before, uh, because it was long, long time out, he needs time to, to come back in the right way. Is already a good news that he is working with us already in the last three, three sessions, three, four sessions. And this is the most important thing. Now he continue to, he needs to continue working, consistency. And soon we're going we're gonna to use him. And Conor Cody has spoken this week about the atmosphere of the club. He says it's like no other he's ever experienced. Obviously, there's been so much talk about the success on the pitch. I just wondered for you how important that side of things has been for, for you to create since you came on. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's very important. Uh, not only out, outside the pitch. Uh, Connor is helping us even inside the pitch because the last game he played, he played very well. He played in the right side, not in the in the central position uh, because we use Yannick there. He adapts himself very well. He's making an effort. So we really appreciate Connor outside the pitch, but especially inside the pitch, because at the end it's our player and we need to use him as a player. And we appreciate because, as we said, uh, now they adapt themselves because they see that the work, the team is working well, get results, so they need uh, to to adapt a little bit themselves. He, he spoke, you, you know, you say there about how much he's helping, but he spoke about how much it's, it's helped him to settle in. He spoke about... Um, when he first joined, I think he said about getting the, the team to, to stay here at, at Seagrave for, for a few days so that they could bond. Obviously, that's great to do at the start. I'm wondering if it's the kind of thing you've considered doing moving forward or if it's a continuing process. Uh, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. We see, we see in the future. Uh, this is was something about uh, last preseason, last summer, and we see in the future. Okay. Um, with no midweek game this week, I wondered if you've had more of an opportunity to do some hands-on coaching and, and work on more specific elements of the game with, with your players. No, because uh, we gave them two days off after QPR because the amount of the game has been incredible. Uh, so it was uh, Sunday and Monday off. We start the week Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, yesterday and today. So just the time to prepare the tomorrow game. Tomorrow's game, as you've already said, is, is another game. It's another three points, but it is one that clearly the, the fans are excited about. There's been a lot of talk and build up on, on social media, fans saying it, it, it's a big game. How do you stop that seeping into your players and make sure that they do see it as just another three points? No, I, I, I said many times the, the fans, I think they are. Uh, we are happy that they can enjoy our moment. They can prepare tomorrow game in the way they want to play. But uh, in terms of uh, our preparation for tomorrow game, will be the same than the the, the previous one. In terms of uh, we're gonna try uh, to have a plan to see how we need to attack, to see how we need to defend when they want to attack us, to see how we can avoid transition. So at the end, it's uh, the same plan that we use every every. The, the, the same schedule that we use every every game. Friday night under the lights, though, the Leicester fans will be in farm balls. Leeds always bring lots of fans, late, make lots of noise. It's it's It feels like it's going to be a special night of football, it is. Yeah, but I said it's a special night for sure for the fans. For us, it's a special night because it's a game, but I don't see any difference from Sunderland game, for instance. That was night too. So, yeah, we're going to prepare the game in the best way we can, trying, as we always try, to win the game. But uh, for me personally, it's, uh, I said I said before QPR, it's the same amount of points. So three points QPR, three points tomorrow. And we're going we're gonna to try to get three points tomorrow too.